Hello, I think we have gone live now. And let me just make this the signature thing. Are we live yet? Are we live yet? Are we live yet? Yep, I guess we're live. Um, hmm. Okay, it's a little tricky because I don't see the first social comment. But anyway, let's get started. Oh, yeah, Hari Haran is the first to be here. Hi, Hari Haran. Uh, okay, so let's get started with uh, out further ado. This is super interesting, right? So when I first drew the channel, I didn't even think this channel really existed. But, you know, I took a shot. I thought, okay, maybe this channel really exists. But this has proved out to be some really, really badass channel. So right now, this Nifty has entirely gone into this channel or not into this channel mode. So on Friday, we thought we'll break the channel. Uh, there was a significant push to break this channel. But it seems the channel, did the channel hold? We can never be really sure because I'll wait for tomorrow's price action. But this is a bullish hammer with a huge rejection. The only thing I have uh, as a problem with this hammer is that this, this body is uh, red. If the body is green, it would have been a beautiful hammer. But the body being red for the hammer usually means that the close is below the open, which means uh, people were not able to hold the prices. The bulls were not able to close above the open, which usually is a you know negative sign. So my verdict on the graph is that it is, see, the thing is this, right? One can conclude quickly, but that is very premature. Uh, there is a price to, there is a value of being indecisive and trading only when you're sure. So in this case, I would want to be indecisive. And I would say, look, the channel is in the channel is the battleground. It is back into the channel with a huge rejection with, but the body is uh, red. So tomorrow will tell us the truth. So wait for tomorrow's price action. If we see a lot of volumes consolidating inside the channel, uh, then the channel might be back. But if it drops below the channel, then we have to be really scared. I mean, we don't have to be scared. If you're long, you have to be scared. <laughs> if you're short, you don't have to be scared. You have to join the party. Um, and this is a problem. This futures graph is looking even more ominous because this is closing below the zone of volume consolidation. So, yeah. Oh, uh, I am a little bit um, optimistic about the downside risks. So I'm optimistic because obviously my bias is short. But if you are long, uh, there is a downside risk on Nifty. And the channel clearly says this is not a place to stay long. This is probably a place to see where, what happens to the channel. Will it go above or below? OK. So and there is a heavy difference in spot and future price, as Fajr pointed out. Let's see. Yeah, uh, it's not heavy here. I mean, yeah, it is heavy for the last week. But T, I mean, it's not. It's like what? It's like some 40 points, right? 40 points is like what? It's like 0.3 percent. Yeah, it is a little high for the last week, but T care. I mean, it's not. It's not the end of the world. So let's go to open interest. Open interest is fairly confusing again. You see a lot of call additions and put additions, but truth be told, call addition and put addition is almost even, Stephen. And option chain also, it's this is not what you call a loaded option chain. There are equal number of calls and puts, but here's the interesting part, right? PCR is absolutely one. I mean, can't get more even than that. 50 million calls, 51 million puts, and really the the cue for me is this this is the atm at the atm calls are more than puts and the strike below the atm on put side is not as high as the strike above the atm on the call side so if i take these two this is the resistance this is the support so currently we are closer to the resistance than the support which kind of gives me a hint that post shayad channel nahi tikega but again, Shayad Nahi channel Tikega is gambling. It is trying to be, you know, Bhavishyavani prediction astrology and all. I'm not going to do that. If it breaks, we will react to it. Till it breaks, we'll wait and watch, right? Because we are opportunist people who are sitting on the sidelines and we are not people who have any moral values or our own convictions. <laughs> I mean, so, and that's nice, right? Because why do you want to take sides? Let somebody win and we'll join that team. So, PCR is one. Uh, FI option data, FI option data, they sold calls and bought puts 10k net, not huge, but it is something. Stock data is positive, but again, stocks is long term. Index futures is neutral at 100 crores, not too high, not too low. 
okay and uh, fia stock data is uh, negative obviously sorry huge positive so what is my verdict let's quickly jump to that see my verdict is mixed i would watch for a volume consolidation in or outside the channel so agar channel ke andar ja ke volumes hua so it might hold agar channel ke bahar ja ke matlab yahan pe aake if it breaks and you know if you see volumes here then uh channel is gone and it is a shorting market my bias is bearish because of a different reason my bias is bearish because this is the resistance and this is the support so purely from the graph right i can't really say if it is bullish or bearish uh but from this chart i can say that this seems to be the resistance this seems to be support so i am biased towards slight negative uh which is not all that bad because on friday our uh you know leaving trade was 16000 call sell and that seems to be playing out really nice in fact if you had sold 15900 or 800 or 16000 you might even have got an exit at friday's low but theek hai we are playing for theta might as well play for theta so tomorrow is likely to be a what open let's see where sgx closed tomorrow is likely to be a negative open okay that is very interesting so if FGX doesn't turn out to be your usual way of a. We'll get a nice theta for whatever we did on Friday, right? So, what is my trade on Nifty for tomorrow? Uh, we have sold calls on Friday. Sixteen thousand call was a preferred call. We'll hold on to them. If the channel breaks, we'll sell more calls with lower strikes. Why? Because sixteen thousand call will not have much delta left tomorrow. So, um, by the way, if the channel breaks, now it's also a time to think of shorting future with stop loss. Uh, because now we can see some movement if this thing breaks at least till here but again this is a, a 300 point range you can play that range or you can play that range with sell call of 100 point premium or something it entirely up to you i wouldn't really want to be selling puts at this sorry buying puts at this sorry sorry i'm so sorry i just made one small mistake so if you look at it right this is actually a very beautiful chart the previous all time high was friday's low basically there was this all time high waha pe there is a horizontal support and we can again see a retracement of around 240 odd points here right so this all time high previous all time high um which is 16th february 2021 will act as a support for some time so um so yeah i would say 15 yeah so that makes sense right which is why we are seeing a lot of put open interest at 15 500 my level to watch out for so i wouldn't really want to play with futures because this can again provide some support but i probably would want to happily sell calls here and earn the time value since the range is only 200 points i can happily sell a 100 point atm and capture half the range with very less risks right so that is our analysis for nifty moving on to bank nifty oh this is not good Bank Nifty is kind of toasted. It is outside the channel. There is a hundred DMA which we pointed out earlier that acted as a support. But if this channel cracks, Bank Nifty can really correct. And yeah, this doesn't look good at all. Maybe we can correct till here. So Bank Nifty has, if you ask me objectively, Bank Nifty seems to have much more downside risks than Nifty. And we could see Bank Nifty correct to probably thirty-two thousand levels, but that's like a far-fetched calculation. The first resistance is. 100 DMA, then comes 50 DMA, then it can go all the way to here. So Bank Nifty is definitely negative. Let's just confirm that with. I mean, weekly, monthly is the same, so it hardly matters what I choose now. These two. Oh, well, Bank Nifty is clearly, clearly, clearly negative because uh, there were more co calls than puts. 25% more calls than puts on Friday, and this option chain is interesting. Thirty-five thousand has OI, okay. Thirty-four thousand is split, and thirty-four thousand has OI. The put call ratio of point eight is fairly low, so Bank Nifty, I probably would want to bet against it at this point. Okay, finally going to our usual hero USDINR, the only trade which we have been getting right for quite a long time. So USDINR has retraced half of this. Big uh, green candle. Uh, I wouldn't short U USD INR because the bias is still long. Uh, the only question about USD INR is where would you enter? So somebody was asking. Uh, it has gone all the way here. 
what i do you can if you had sold some calls you would have hedged nicely and captured the premium on the call but net net i still think usd nr is you know positive and i haven't exited my longs and i'm still holding on to them uh, yeah this is clearly clearly a positive candle there is with rejection but weekly is still a big green candle dollar is still a bullish bias now the problem is this right if dollar is bullish nifty cannot stay bearish for long and that is not going to be nice so okay so i have one more reason why i have downside risks on nifty that is simply us dollar so dollar nifty everything put together market looks slightly scary therefore i wouldn't want to be long the market at this point of time i would probably want to be um, sold calls or if you really want to think like you know dar ke aage jeet hai you can short the future but anyway let's quickly see if we have uh jitendra is asking which stock or has contributed to fall and recovery on friday jitendra here's the thing right we don't care like uh, yeah it was himanshu himanshu booked 50 lots himanshu congrats for your profits i'm very happy that you uh, made this thing and you sold 75 ce of july 17 that's a very nice uh, hedge uh, uh, so uh jitendra here's the thing right so there's one thing i learned about i mean i don't know much about the markets but honestly this because i don't trade full time right and people who trade full times are much better poised to have opinions about the markets than uh, somebody who does it part time but there's one thing i learned which really goes a really really um, long way do not wonder about the why of the market i mean if we wonder about the why of the market then chances are that we'll you know uh, get into why is this going this shouldn't go therefore let's not ponder about that right so it this thing fell on friday i didn't care why this thing rose on friday i didn't care why i looked at the chart i traded i forgot the news forgot the noise the only truth is charts if you, i mean you don't have to believe in this you know uh uh philosophy it's just a philosophy and a viewpoint maybe it really matters we you know whether you look at what, what is happening why is happening you know but but i simply don't simply because for me uh you know i don't have to look at a lot of uh 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 i i don't really look at a lot of news or reason or anything uh so yash is asking um uh, is this going to be a difficult week for traders if you ask me so here's the thing right a difficult week is when you don't know where the market is going if the market is falling unidirectionally it is actually a very easy week for traders so it doesn't matter what the trend is as long as you have a trend it is actually an easy thing for traders if you don't have a trend is when you are whipped out so basically right if if something is continuously going up it's very easy you can just hold on to it but if it goes up comes down a little bit then your trailing stop loss get triggered it fluctuates your stop loss get triggered like all of this is difficult for traders a unidirectionally trended market whether it is going one way up or one way down is very easy for traders to trade so to answer your question is this going to be a difficult week if the channel breaks it's actually going to be an easy week because then the direction is obvious it is going to fall and then what you have to do is also obvious you just have to short right and global queues are down um the chart has fallen um everything is uh, looking like very clear right now so i wouldn't rate that uh, you know uh, ashutosh is pointing out it was the previous expiry no yeah, it, it is the right expiry uh, look at this this is uh, bank nifty june month end expiry so i i mean it doesn't matter because weekly and monthly are now coinciding right uh, so Uh, mohan is asking what is the reason for second half of buying mohan honestly my the only reason for second half of buying for me right i don't understand economics but this is the previous all time high whoever sold here would buy now therefore and you can see this right this was the all time high tested again it broke again now the same people will become buyers here the guys who sold there so that is or when all time highs break or all time highs are retested there is technical support there that's why this is happening i wouldn't want to pin any sort of you know economic uh uh reason for that zubin is asking can you explain iv there is a free video on our youtube channel on iv you can actually watch that um so venu is asking adani enterprise here i really don't understand 
But since we have a little bit of time, I'll just try to look at Adani port. I could be wrong here, but let me just see what it looking. Oh my God, this is such a gambling stock. Okay, so Adani port has started giving a signal of reversal. So I'll okay this. I won't trade this stock for the simple reason. Long term trend is really bearish, right? But the short term trend has started giving a reversal. This is a very clear bullish engulfing. Very big candle here. Very big candle engulfing. But here is my problem. This 100 EMA can act as a support. This is your next level to watch out for. Why? Because this is a bullish hammer, and the starting point of the bullish hammer can now act as a uh, you know rejection point. Now, so my levels for Adani is I'll be careful here simply because of the existence of this 200 EMA. Sorry, 100 EMA. If that holds. Then it can go all the way for here for two reasons. One is the volume profile maximum is happening here. The second reason is this is a bearish, sorry, bullish engulfing, and the base of a bullish engulfing is always a support. Now, since it has broken, now it will act like a resistance. So, if you ask me, I could be wrong, but Adani cracking 760 is very unlikely. I don't think it it can break 760 now. Because there will be huge selling at 760 levels. And 760 can happen only if it is able to successfully break 710 level. Now that can happen. But even if that happens, this will really, I mean, this is my analysis. I could be wrong simply because I don't trade it regularly. I'm not a regular in Adani. And probably you will have much better look uh, asking people who really understand this stock. But anyway, that's our one stock analysis for the day. Um, uh, so, uh, Pavan, if you have that question which you wanted to ask, which is getting blocked by YouTube for I don't know what reason, you can just shoot a mail on help at sensible.com. We'll absolutely make sure that it reaches me. Just mention on that support mail. Please forward it to me. They'll do that. So, all right. That is our, you know, uh, yeah, Sachin is asking open interest. We have, you know what? The design is already done. It can come anytime. It will be a very nice new page on open interest page. Uh, uh, so that is our analysis for today because we are exceeding time. Uh, so thank you guys for joining. Please have a great week. Please keep your capital safe. Don't trade because you know you have to trade. There's nothing like that. Market is always is opportunity will always come. This is not advice or recommendation. These are just you know ways of analyzing the market with data. Uh, uh, so. Uh, Buying options, I wouldn't really recommend. I'm more of a fan of selling options in this market right now. Uh, so thanks again for joining. You guys have a great expiry week uh, and an expiry month uh, and make some money. Thank you. Good night. Bye.